Hello everyone, Sonley here, and welcome back to another episode of Truly a Bedrock Season 1. I hope you're all doing very fine. Today, I am doing pretty well myself, and uh, just giving this guy a little hug at the beginning of the episode. Anyway, today we're going to be working on our final project of Truly Bedrock Season 1. And yes, you heard that correctly, the final project for the season, meaning that Season 2 is on its way. You'll see a finale for the season in a few days, and of course many teasers and probably a trailer, and all kinds of just fun things about Season 2 and the coming weeks. And also, we may or may not have a new member or two, or three, or more, or less, I don't know. That's the point of a teaser. You don't really know. <laughs> anyway, that's not the point of today's episode. We got some stuff to do. So of course, the final project is the Mega Baboo Farm and Super Smelter and XP Banks and all of that stuff that we worked on in the last couple of episodes. And in between episodes, Zloy has done so much work. He stole the entire project from me. He built literally everything and it looks amazing. You can see a little teeny tiny teaser through the wall there and you'll see a full time lapse of that here in a couple of minutes but while I have your attention at the beginning of this episode important announcement I am in the process of pre-recording a ton of videos because I will be leaving for the majority of June I'm traveling across the US with my mom to visit our family my aunt is having a baby which is really cool first time having a new family member in a long time so of course we want to be there for that anyway I'm leaving on like the first returning sometime around the 20th I think and during that time I won't be around as much however there will still be a lot of videos on the channel for your faces so don't worry about it there won't be any lapse in content it's just going to be pre-recorded a bit but it's still going to be fun stuff for you to enjoy so let's go ahead and check out the mega factory that has been built within an extremely short amount of time shall we and bam there it is that is looking amazing as Lily is such a quick and good builder it is actually ridiculous now, there's no interior to this, so it's purely a facade. We'll be doing some work on that in today's episode, of course. Finish up this entire project, but look at that. It is so good. Way better than I could have done it. I wish I had, like, the time and the scheduling to actually meet up and build a lot of this with him. But look at that. There's even, like, a furnace in the side of the building, which I find to be extremely fun. And then if I can fly some more, you can see this side is also done. And it is just amazing. It is a super large building. I'm actually really surprised that we were easily able to get all the materials for this. And it turned out really, really good. Cannot thank Zloy enough. Of course, you should definitely check out the episode where he built this. It is just so cool. I'm really waiting for his episode to come out as well. It's great. Anyway, let's go ahead and head on into the inside and you'll see what it looks like from in here. Of course, slabs on Bad Rock Edition let through sunlight and other forms of light, so it's a little bit glitchy, but that's not a problem. You won't see any of that once I'm done with the interiors. And honestly, it's just kind of cool. It's a massive bamboo warehouse and it fits the farms and the contraptions perfectly. I am extremely happy with it. Oh yeah, we kind of also ran out of things to smelt, but I just remembered that we have like 12 shulker boxes of raw fish that we can definitely still smelt down. So we do actually have our work cut out for us in today's episode. Of course, we need to clean up this entire build, aka remove all of the random stuff that we have around the outside here. Maybe add some vines and some more detailing to this side of the facade and all, everywhere that we have bricks because again this is the original idea and uh, that kind of got implemented pretty well on this side but there's no vines and I think having some vines and some other natural growth would actually look pretty cool seeing as how we are in a swamp after all and of course we're gonna have to do a ton of interior work on the insides but that's typically not things that we do too much on camera so we're going to stay with that tradition now I'm gonna put on a massive time lapse of this entire build for you it should only last about a minute or two but while you guys are watching that i'm going to do a ton of work on the interiors of this and then when i come back we should have a lot more progress done so enjoy that zloy spent a very long time building this Thank you. 
So I hope you enjoyed that massive time lapse of this building took I think like four or six hours to build something insane like that a very very long time and I have since done another two and a half hours of work on the insides now prepare your eyeballs for this and this may or may not be terrible we're gonna open the door and we have an interior. <laughs> I built all of this. I don't know if it's actually good or if it's bad or if it's mediocre, but it is what it is. It's very plain and simple, but it is using the same palette. We got a random hole in the floor over here that we could potentially do something cool with. And then we're going to have a kind of like a viewing platform for the full stack smelter, which is in this location right here, of course. Now, these doors, they don't go anywhere. They just go to light. <laughs> Wall, basically and then we have a little trapdoor going down here to fill up the xp bank with fuel and a little staircase but basically everything for the interiors has been fully completed we of course got the xp banks decorated the mass storage decorated going up the stairs we got the actual furnace array decorated the the hallway going over here the final thing that we have not done is the actual afk platform which we are about to do but this should be fairly simple i think it's going to be pretty much the same as the lower bits but with a few windows to actually look out here and see how the bamboo's doing and make sure the flying machines it doesn't break but yeah that took me a couple of few hours and it was actually a pretty fun build i kind of just threw it all together i didn't think about it too much there's certainly some areas that are a little bit awkward but that is just kind of what happens when you build the redstone first which is what i like doing get everything functional and then make it look actually half decent all right so a little while later the afk room up here at the top has been decorated and it is looking mildly all right it's got somebody's face on the floor as well which is kind of nice it looks a little bit super duper derpy because it has uh the eyeballs missing due to the bubble columns but you know what it's fine it's perfectly fine <laughs> we also got some nice green tinted windows to look out at the bamboo anyway we can go ahead and press the button that should activate all the redstone lines that'll launch yeah that flying machine over there looking pretty good and it will launch this one over here too nice and that'll lock this trap door so that we cannot leave this room until those guys have docked again I'm happy with it. Very nice. Oh yeah, Jesse B has also left us an entire shulker box full of string for free, which is actually really, really nice of her. Thank you so much, Jesse. And we're going to turn all of this into scaffolding. This will be enough string for six shulker boxes of scaffolding, if I'm not mistaken. So that's pretty awesome. So the entire time that I've been building over here and working over here, I have been smelting down items, of course. Many, many, many items. So I burnt down all all of those fish that we had and now every single one of these has done basically a shulker box of fish plus a whole bunch of nether bricks as well as you can see we just have so many smelted items this literally is not even funny i don't know what to do with literally any of these so i'm just gonna leave them in here but one thing that you should know is that any form of cooked you know meat or fish gives you 0.35 experience and nether rack turned into nether bricks only gives you 0.1 experience. So all of these fish give you 35 times the amount of experience that you get from smelting in nether bricks, meaning that probably every single one of these furnaces has at least 20 or so levels in it. This is going to be a lot of experience. So I gotta say, I'm slightly torn on what to do with all of this experience. I know it's going to be a lot, and I want to know exactly how much, so I kind of want to just absorb it as XP points to the hotbar. But then again, I also have nine tools that completely need to be repaired, but I don't really quite care that much we can use the enderman farm if we need any tools to be repaired so we're gonna go through all 12 of these furnaces and just see how much experience we get that one already gave us five levels that one gave us four now we're up to 42 <laughs> 45 48 this is so much experience 50 52 54 56 58 60 61 that's a lot of experience 
Remember that the rate at which you get experience is kind of exponential, so it takes an exponential amount of experience to level up every time. So that was probably several, several times that we could have gotten to level 30 if we didn't have any experience at all. That is ridiculous. I love it so much. XP storage banks are actually really, really powerful. And I need to make a proper design for one of these. And just to give you some more details on how ridiculous smelting for experience actually is, we have a lot of shulker boxes over here. Now, these six are all full of scaffolding for fuel, because of course the scaffolding is basically the best fuel on the game, as we figured out in the last episode. But all of these shulker boxes, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21 shulker boxes, 21 are completely full of nether bricks. <laughs> Every single one of these is completely full of nether bricks, except this last one. Ridiculous. We smelted down that much nether rack in the last couple of episodes. And then of course we smelted down 12 shulker boxes of raw cod as well. And that resulted in 61 levels plus another 30 levels. So a whole lot of experience. It is ridiculous. This is my first time ever really experimenting with furnace arrays. And I love it so much. It is just so fun. So that is the conclusion of this massive project that we completed within like two or three episodes. I'm really happy about it. And hopefully you guys did enjoy as well. Oh yeah, we also have all of these shulker boxes completely full of junk and random building materials that I need to uh, sort out. It, it's, it's a lot of items. And now let's see what Zloy has to say about the factory build. It kind of turns out that there is a few things I did not know about. No, but seriously though, I'm really proud of what we did here. Yeah, it's, uh... it looks really good. It's big! Like, that's the biggest, the, the, the best quality of it, really. Proving once and for all that building big is not hard. Building good is hard. <laughs> <laughs> but it does look good, and it's big. It's great. Yeah. It's, it, it, it looks it's, uh... exactly like your little model down there. Which is kind of, yeah. you know, <laughs> that model wasn't that pretty. The only problem with it really is that it doesn't exactly have the... Have the what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna just... Uh, the only problem with it is that it doesn't exactly have the interior. Silent, I keep opening this door and it keeps <laughs> leading into an actual house. What? What's happened here? Yeah, I, I did things. I did things and stuff. <laughs> I legit thought like I glitched out. <laughs> this wasn't here like 10 minutes ago. Where this, it's all been here since from. like 8 hours ago. Come on, man. <laughs> oh my god, I, I went to sleep and you built all of this. That's exactly what happened the with meantime. the exterior. I went to sleep, I woke up and it was done. Okay, how do you like that? No, I almost feel bad. I almost feel bad about like, because in the time lapse you can kind of see you the buzzing about also, but it mostly like you can tell that it's me, my character just zooming yeah. around. You see just this, a blur of green. <laughs> yeah, just blur is low riding around placing blocks. Um, uh... oh, wow, this is actually usable now. Yeah. Yeah, it took like at one two point and a half I did actually feed this. a bunch of uh, I I did actually feed a bunch of clay into the system oh, and nice. couldn't find where the chest with it was. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing. Wow. Yeah. But now it's all intuitive and it's like amazing. It, it works enough. You called it sugarcane again. That's like the 50th time. Ah, uh, bamboo, <laughs> yeah, bamboo, not sugarcane. I'm sorry. It's kelp, all right. <laughs> yeah, let's just call it kelp. kelp. <laughs> Jungle kelp. <laughs> Jungle kelp. And Why kelp not? is wet sugar cane, so you know, it's... No, this is a grand project. I love super smelters, and uh, I love building stuff, so th this works out. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, can you believe we finished it in one episode? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Well, for me, it's split up into two, but yeah, you did all of this in one episode. Ridiculous. Oh. Yeah, just comes to show that an an episode is a very arbitrary thing. <laughs> yes, it very much is. <laughs> okay, so we need to we need to discuss one more thing, sir. Yeah, we sure do. Do you know what that thing is? Well, I was hoping to get paid for this. Yes, exactly. Payment. What do you want? I have well, many, many, many nether bricks. I mean, sure, but here's the thing. 
I have many, many, many nether bricks. And the bamboo to smelt it with, mind you. <laughs> so I have uh, a little bit of a weird idea, so I need you to not freak out. Okay. For Basically, for the exchange of it, all I'm gonna ask for is... I want to say a favor, but that's not really it. That's almost too big. Mm. A small favor. I mm. need you basically, look. I need you to trust me. I instantly don't trust you. Well, that's why I made <laughs> sure that you owe me a favor then. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay, uh, fine. What, 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 are, what am I getting myself into here? <laughs> Just generally, there's gonna be a little bit of a truly bedrock thing coming up. You know, might have something to do with the moon, might have something to do with, you know, who's behind it. I have some ideas, but I'm not exactly ready to explain them. So, so what what do I need to do? So if, if, okay, if there's a town hall meeting, I just need you to kind of attend and potentially shut up. You, you realize... you. Not even that. Actually, actually support the things that I'll be saying. You realize that I attend every single meeting anyway. So like, wh what are you, what are you getting me into? Are you trying to indoctrinate me into a cult or something? Like, this seems serious. I mean, we do have T-shirts. Oh, why didn't you say so? That you didn't have to build those. Just, you, you have T-shirts. That's that. Yeah, okay, great. I'm in. Yeah, great. Sounds good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. You wanna you wanna see the headquarters? Sure, let's go. So you you told me to meet you at the graveyard at midnight, and I'm a little bit early. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> also, the midnight it, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's the the trap door in the coffin is not uh, light detector rig. <laughs> oh, you oh you have a coffin. I see. Why is yeah, it get open? In. You want me to wait? You want me to get into the coffin? Yeah, get in. It looks like nice. it actually does look. Oh, okay. Um, I wish I had more totems. Okay, it's fine. This is good. All right. This goes. This goes yeah. places. Look at this. Exactly. So welcome to the catacombs. Nice. This is the moonlight uh, moonlight society or something like that. I like mm -hmm. the ravager head too. He looks at you. Uh, it's a whole ravager, mind you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I can't see it. Thing. Therefore, it's not true. <laughs> So yeah, what we is... have the, the slumber party headquarters. Yeah, so what is this place? What, what's the point? It's the place for the conspiracy society of the Truly Bedrock server. It's where I convince people to that uh, the entire Mooncrack situation is fault of these guys. Of mobs. <laughs> you have a you have a cell for Blue Jay. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he deserves it. But no, not not all Ooh. mobs, just specifically the gray ones. Very nice. So you think these guys are bad guys? I mean, they do shoot you on sight for one. Not always. And also the it basically is the timeline situation where you know how lately there's been much ma much more many attacks from the pillagers onto players? Yeah, you can't go five feet without seeing one of these guys. Exactly, and lately it's been ridiculous. We've been building that thing, like, for as long as we've been building, these guys were just popping up, even on the flipping roof. I know, on the, on the stupid roofs even. Exactly, and I tracked it down to the position. Basically, I tracked it down so that all the asteroid hits that are hitting the bases of people started happening after the update when these guys started showing up more and more. Hmm. Meaning that at, when at first they were definitely targeting regular Minecraft villages, now they're targeting players, which is why we're seeing more patrols, which is why we're seeing more moon chunks breaking stuff, basically. I'm saying they're trying to get rid of us. And I'm saying we need to get rid of them first. I I can kind of see that. That makes a little bit of sense. So do you have like a plan of action? What what are we doing? Well, here's a question. Silent, have you ever gone to a Woodland Mansion this season? Why would I? Exactly. The, the pillagers are coming no to us. No one did. <laughs> Has no one gone to the mansion this season? I'm pretty sure no. I checked everybody's videos. No, no one didn't try it ever. Oh wait, Jessie came from a mansion. Have you talked to her? Right? 
It it all makes sense. Hmm. You see it now, do, don't you? I I, I I'm not. Where, where's the tinfoil hat closet? <laughs> I got to get my tinfoil hat. Where is it? You, you, you've clearly no. put some thought into this. I, I, I can buy it. I can buy it. Let's just hope that we don't so, completely butcher this entire thing and destroy the world or something. I don't know. Well, what are the chances of that happening? Very low, exactly. That's why it's sarcasm. The, the next town hall meeting, just be on my side. I'll try to convince everyone. We go to the mansion. We destroy the gate the mansion. And then we rule this world unchallenged a plot to take over the world <laughs> so it looks like we have some interesting shenanigans to look forward to in a future episode whenever we have our next truly bedrock meeting and apparently Zlo is going to try and convince the server to go raid a woodland mansion or something i i, I highly doubt that's going to happen no one ever listens to Zloy. that's kind of how we get into a lot of our messes but also how we avoid so many messes <laughs> Oh wow, we got a captain right there just like staring down our villagers. What's the point of having a wall if you're just going to spawn on the inside of it? That's ridiculous. Anyway, I do hope that you have all enjoyed today's episode of Truly Bedrock and have enjoyed the Bamboo Baron project. It's actually been a pretty fun one. So if you did enjoy today's episode, then of course, make sure to leave a like on the video, potentially subscribe to the channel if you're new here, so that you don't miss a future episode and so that you don't miss the start of season two. And otherwise, thank you ever so much for watching this episode. Thank you so much for watching this series in general. And I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. And then there was silence.